back to the second channel, man, and the beat from the intro is provided by Mill Cow. There's a link in the description below that's going to take you to downloadpads.com. From there, you can find this particular beat tape because I'm live streaming it and get the contact information via Twitter. And if you holler out and get some beats, tell them I sent you. But anyway, on to today's reply. And today's reply is to that Joe Budden Mega Deal featuring Ransom. And you know, before we even jump into it, you notice just how good music has been consistently being due. Like, this is another solid fucking song that Joe Button just gave the fuck away leading up to this album, man. And it's really awesome, man, that the fourth quarter seems to be building up like this. See, this song is another somewhat spiritual song, like The Devil in My Room, but yet it's the inverse and flip side to it. It's pretty much what the sample was saying in the hope they're making a deal with the Lord. Like, even though it's not like a strict topic that they're rhyming about, man, they're definitely going around this topic. It came out all the way fucking solid, man, that beat a lot of the lyrics that they're saying, like Joe Button talking about the diseases and such that people creating in order to profit off of, in which I'm pretty sure he's talking about Ebola right there. Overall, these songs that he's just releasing is just getting me hyper and hyper and hyper for this album, man. It could be a fucking classic just based off of these last three songs that he did. See, but the thing that worries me is what Joe Button has tend to do over his career with his albums and mixtapes. Like, his mixtapes have consistently been better than his albums because of songs like these that he's been releasing. While his albums tend to have a little commercial feel to it. And it wouldn't shock me if that's what happened with this fucking album. But still, we got three dope ass songs right now for free. And just these three alone are worthwhile supporting this album that he's about to drop, man. But anyway, on to ask, download pad. And Curtis Cobb says about that cause and effect that this is just the EP. And you know what, man? People need to stop using these excuses for these albums and such, man, for them not being as great as they hoped them to be. Like a lot of people was talking that about that game I was saying, it's just a compilation, man. When, let's keep it 100. When we talking about the industry, an EP is the same as an album, man. It counts the same towards your record contract because in the past, record labels were bought by people who used EPs instead of albums. Say what's up. Say hi. Hi. But then you look at the compilation, man. Pretty much every song has the game on it, don't it? It says the game, the year of the wolf, don't it? While you're looking at compilations from all of these other record labels and such, man, you see T.I.'s compilation, which is Hustle Gang. You see Cash Money's compilation, which is Rich Gang. You don't see that with the game. It's the game. So therefore, it's pretty much a solo album, my dude. Just with a whole lot of features. Like, people need to quit using all of these excuses to make things seem better for the album, man. Just because your favorite artist didn't drop a really strong project does not mean that he's a bad rapper. Like, one of my favorite rappers is T.I. And you know, T.I.'s latest project wasn't that good. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna continue to listen to the old stuff and anxiously anticipate the next. I'm never gonna make an excuse for the man like, well, you know, this really ain't a real album. Nah, he dropped a bad album. It is what it is. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com. That's down there to read today's article.